Tokyo's ambitious plans to domestically develop a sixth-generation stealth fighter air force at an estimated program cost of over 5 trillion yen $48 billion have been given new details by Japan. According to a development schedule, a prototype will be built in 2024, and the first flight will occur in 2028. The FX would go into series production in 2031 and enter service in 2035. About 90 of the cutting-edge stealth fighters would be purchased by the Japanese Air Self-Defense Force. The twin-engine FX will incorporate cutting-edge technology, such as the ability to remotely control drones, a helmet-mounted display modeled after virtual reality, and a radar that can also be used as a microwave weapon to destroy enemy missiles. In actuality, it is the nickname for the homegrown Mitsubishi FX-6 generation fighter jet that is being developed domestically at an estimated cost of around 5 trillion yen about US $48 billion. According to Interesting Engineering, Japan's challenge is to stay competitive and strong in a challenging neighborhood where China and Russia already possess cutting-edge aerial assets. Japan is a technologically advanced and creative nation. But for the past 40 years or so, it has not taken the lead in domestically developing new fighter aircraft. This is why the nation is keen to enlist the technical assistance of the United States and the United Kingdom. System integration capabilities, such as radar and missiles, high stealth and athletic ability, and efficient development technology were the three criteria used to evaluate them. The fighter will have some exciting interoperability capabilities with allied forces thanks to the international R&D program. The new fighter should, in theory, be able to exchange data with U.S. aircraft that are friendly to it, such as its F-22 seconds and F-35 seconds, to simplify joint operations. Although we are unsure of its exact appearance at this time, some have noted that it will probably resemble the F-22 but be larger. What is known is that the FX will have control surfaces that are electronically actuated. Since there won't be much room inside the airframe, conventional hydraulic systems won't be used very often if at all to maintain a low radar profile. Additionally, the FX will have integrated bonded structures made of composite materials and heat shields. Nothing screams futuristic top gun like a fighter jet shooting enemy missiles out of the sky with a high-powered laser. It might be just a few years away. Lockheed Martin has been given a $26.3 million contract by the Air Force Research Laboratory to design develop, and construct a high-energy laser that will be tested in a tactical fighter jet by 2021, an upgraded version of a multi-kilowatt fiber laser, similar to the one the Navy tested earlier on the s -Ponts, is the key technology, the development of electrically powered laser weapons, which culminated in Northrop 2009 Grumman's demonstration of a 100-kilowatt laboratory laser, began with fiber lasers as a dark horse. Although multi-kilowatt fiber lasers were already in use for industrial machining, conventional wisdom claimed that the optical power was concentrated inside the tiny light guiding core of the fiber, limiting the output of fiber lasers. While that configuration improved the beam quality and increased the efficiency with which a fiber laser could convert electrical energy into light, it also raised the power density to the point where a single fiber could not emit much more than about 10 kilowatts without self-destructing. At the time, combining beams from numerous fiber lasers seemed impractical because doing so would reduce the beam quality needed to concentrate power on distant targets. The development of a high-power variant of the wavelength division multiplexing technique, which is used in high-capacity fiber optic telecommunications, changed the situation. Additionally, the FX will have integrated bonded structures made of composite materials and heat shields. Although the sixth generation of aircraft is still in its infancy, a core set of characteristics have come together to define what a sixth generation fighter is. It will be necessary to upgrade all of the fifth generation deserving skills. For aircraft manufacturers, the focus on close quarters dogfighting, which dominated aerial combat in the 20th century, is becoming less important. The importance of ground assaults, cyber warfare, and even space warfare is rising. The use of missiles with a range beyond visual range is still crucial. The capability to operate in a manned or unmanned configuration will probably be incorporated into the next generation of jet fighters. Sixth-generation air fighters will also need to integrate with a variety of other jets, drones, soldiers, and sensors in a dense network designed to give warfighters a thorough picture of the battle space just like the F-35 did in the fifth generation of air fighters. Several design components will be used to achieve the performance attributes anticipated of a sixth-generation fighter. The brains of the aircraft advanced digital platforms with networking capabilities, onboard AI, data fusion, and advanced communications technology will serve as the cornerstone of sixth-generation technology.